Hey coders, quick little addendum to the previous Expo CLI video before we move on to React Native CLI. Let's talk about adding TypeScript into an Expo project. This is gonna be something you're gonna to have to do after your initial creation. I don't believe there is a template or CLI tool that can make a TypeScript project initially using Expo init. So after you do Expo init and do a successful NPM start that loads on your Expo client app, we can shut all that back down and go ahead and do the steps we have to take to make it TypeScript usable. Um, as of Expo SDK version 31 and up, as of this video's recording, I believe we're on version 32, it automatically includes the ability to understand and use the TypeScript and TSX extensions. Awesome! Yes, but it doesn't include the typings, however, so we're going to have to do a couple installs to get up and running out of the box here quickly. We're going to be going ahead and installing our types for the Expo API and its components, the React typings as usual, and our new React Native typings. So I'm going to go ahead and take this npm install and save and run it in my terminal here and let it install those three types, Expo, React, and React-Native. This shouldn't take too long to get going here. Nice. I'm gonna to have to also either use TSC init or go ahead and manually create a tsconfig.json. And it's gonna to have to have at minimum all this information right here. Now you can either screenshot this right now or I'll have it included possibly as a code pen via the video description or as something below the video in Gravity that you can just copy and paste over. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and create the new file here in the root of my project called tsconfig.json. And we're going to paste this information, let it format. I don't, I included a new source directory where you can actually store your components as well, just kind of like you're used to working out of React. So if you wish, you can begin putting all of your screens and components inside the source directory, which is why I included it here. And I also included app.tsx automatically in this code snippet, so you'll have to remember to come change this to app.tsx and go ahead and safely type it while you're in here. Otherwise, it will throw a bunch of errors because I've already learned the hard way when I try to figure out how to do this earlier today. So we're going to pass in these generics here. Okay, that go ahead and safely types this basic, basic component here. And I've noticed if you manually create this file and don't use TSC init, sometimes you have to close your VS code as of the current version of VS code and reopen it and it should be able to resolve that file and know what's going on. And second time around, there are no errors. Nice. All right. so. With that being done, I left comments on what each of these guys are doing if you guys want to take a quick gander to see what's going on, but I wouldn't stress too much about that. But now that we have this safely typed, theoretically I can run npm start, let this project rerun on the local web development server, bundling up our JavaScript using Metro Bundler. It should start the bundler, have an available tunnel, and it should hopefully respond correctly if I open it up in my Expo client app like we did at the end of the last video. Okay, loading up my projects. Expo client app is running slow tonight. But open up my project. There goes the bundler right here as I'm opening it my phone. And I'm back on the white screen with red text, which you probably can't see anyway. But we're back up and running, and now we have types available to us. So that is a quick little addendum to the previous video on how we got our project in Expo to be using TypeScript. See you all soon.